Hey, hey guys, and welcome to our channel. I'm Deanna. I'm Ashley, and we're gonna be doing a chit chat. Get ready with us today. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna be starting off with a primer on my eyes. I think I'm gonna prime my face first, but I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'm so I'm just use using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for my eyes. And then to prime my face, I'm just gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Base Mattifying one just to mattify my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with a shadow that's around the same color as my skin. Okay. I'm actually gonna be using the Benefit Professional one. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the um, Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes and prime that with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the OG one. I'm gonna jump right into the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill Palette. And then I'm just going to set my primer with a skin colored shadow. Actually, your palette is so busted. Jeez. I'm gonna be grabbing this color over here and blending that into my crease as a transition shade. And then for my eyes today, I believe I'm gonna be using this Tarte Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. Start off, we're just gonna be taking this second eye color in here and using that as a tr transition and blending that into the crease. We're just going to be winging it out a little bit because we're going to be doing winged liner today. I'm going to be going in with this color up here and I'm going to be grabbing a Sigma E40 to just blend up into my crease. Just building up my crease to the desired um, depth that I want it to be. Uh, I don't know what it was called. Like the deepness. I'm grabbing my NYX crease brush, it's number 16. I'm grabbing this cranberry shade and again blending that into the crease. And I want this color to be really prominent because that's kind of the look I'm going for. Cranberry lid color. Did I tell you at work, I was talking to one of my managers and he and I, he was using his words and I was like, can you use your words? And then the customer was like, you are funny. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now that I have that color in my crease, I'm gonna take this crease brush and this dark brown here kind of smudge that on the outer corner of my eye I'm gonna be taking that same crease brush and going into the red color in the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and I'm just gonna bring that a little bit into the crease but not all the way like I'm going to be grabbing my e.l.f. crease brush and grabbing the kind of dark chocolatey brown shade in this palette and focusing that into the outer V area of the eye. I don't know if I'm doing a wing tonight. Today. You have to. Why? Because I said so. I'm make sure to wing out the dark brown the slightest bit just so that it kind of blends in with everything else on the eye. Blending that up with a semi-clean brush. So I'm going to go in with the dark brown from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And same thing as we did with that other brown. Just blend it into the outer V. And then going into it with a clean blending brush and blending it all out. I'm really liking the way my crease is looking. I am feeling it! Bend this out a bit. Just don't care. Put on a hoodie and sweatpants. And Ashley's been judging me lately. Because one day Deanna's like, I wear a lot of hoodies. I'm like, yes, I've noticed. So just blending out the colors. Just make sure everything's always very blended. Because you don't want any harsh lines. So now that I have my crease and my outer V to the darkness that I want, I'm just going to take this Revlon Cream Shadow. Probably going to take this one and just put that all over the lid. Alright, so I'm going back in with the Morphe palette and I'm going to be grabbing this cranberry shade down here. And I'm also going to be grabbing a little bit of this one up here and putting that all over the lid. Just grab any lid brush you have for that. Before adding that lighter shade, I'm actually going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and go back into that 
for a shade. That lighter cranberry shade that I spoke of and just kind of dabbing it all over that color. All right, so I'm basically done with the eyes, so I'm going to move on to my skin. So I'm going to be grabbing the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm in the Sensitive. I'm just going to wet my brush still because I am still on me eyes. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is in the shade Light Beige. And then I'm going to be taking this gold shade and putting that on my lid. And just bring it down the neck a little, just because you want everything to be the same color. So I'm going to be using the Joe Fresh Concealer in Light Medium. This is actually one of my favorite concealers. Do they have these in the States? No, I don't think Superstore's in the States. I think, this, I think they only sell these in Canada, so if you're able to get one of these, definitely try it out, because they are great, and they're only $8. And I'm just going to apply it in a triangle motion, or shape, I guess. When applying concealer, I also try and take this opportunity to clean up my winged out shadow if I've gone too far down or... And then now that I have my lid shade on, I'm just going to take... I, I really have no clue what brush this is. I'm just going to take this dark brown and just smudge that over. Alright, I'm also going to take it down the bridge of the nose, on the forehead, on the chin, and on the cupid's bow. And then now I'm just going to take my clean blending brush and blend everything together, make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. I'm just going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and setting oh shoes. anywhere where I highlighted. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm just going to move on to my face. Again, starting it off, I'm going to use the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. I want to try the Besame Cosmetics one. I'm going to be using the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Finishing Powder to just set my face. And then again, I'm just going to be using the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced in Light Beige. Setting your face before doing bronzer and all that just helps it go on a lot smoother. Make sure that it doesn't go on patchy. You know? You know? You know? You know? Actually, I'm going to go in and work on the under eye real quick. Just use a pencil brush that you have and kind of repeat repeat the same process that you did on the upper on the lid crease in the crease just gonna take a little bit of the true match by l'oreal and just put that in some places i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows i'm taking this dark brown that's right beside the black it's an ashier color that's why i like to use it for my brows and for my concealer i'm going to be taking the nyx HD concealer, and I believe this is in CW05. This brow is just not feeling it today. Not probably this is your judgment. Don't you guys hate like when your brows just aren't cooperating? Like they're just like, you know what? It's not gonna work. So I'm gonna be setting it with a Sephora clear brow gel. Courtesy of Brittany. Give yourself a shout out, you'll get zero followers from us. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin. I'm gonna be using NARS's Laguna Bronzer and the Morphe M527 brush. Just kind of warming up the complexion, taking away that washed out look that foundation tends to give. So I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to contour my shit buns. I thought you were gonna say your eyes. So I'm just going to be using this light ashy brown color on an angled brush and just popping that into the cheekbone. Boons. Le boons. The cheekbones. I'm just going to set my concealer real quick with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to bake the areas that I get really oily in because I have super oily skin. So it's going to be under my eyes and on my nose with my with my NYX powder that Deanna is selfishly using. <laughs> I'm also going to use some just to clean up my contour. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Sephora 55 brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Scone 
Cosmetics Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner in Jet Black. I'm just going to be lining the eyes. And then I'm just going to be contouring with the NYX Highlight and Contour Kit. I'm just going to be taking a mixture of these two colors. brows I'm just gonna be using the NYX tame and frame tinted brow pomade I'm gonna be using the NYX contour brush and I'm gonna be using that for blush I'm gonna be using deep throat blush by NARS I'm also gonna go ahead and wipe off the baking for that and it just instantly sharpens your contour I'm gonna take the M501 and grabbing champagne pot from Becca. Thanks. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I'm just wiping off that bakage. And then I'm just gonna take the banana powder from the Shade and Light palette and highlight my under eyes and under where I contoured. I'm gonna be using the Ardell 385s lashes and also using their glue I'm gonna let that dry for a second while I contour my nose real quick real quick and then for eyeliner I'm just gonna take that same Sloan eyeliner or scone 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 and I'm not gonna do a wing I'm just gonna lightly eyeline my eye good friends yell at each other when they're doing eyeliner Okay, I'm gonna take the Ardell's, I believe they're 162s, and just pop them on my lids. I'm going to be taking the Revlon glue and putting that on my lashes. I'm gonna be lining my lips with the Annabelle lip liner in Nude Luster. Alright, and I'm going in with Max Cream in Your Coffee lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So our camera died, so all I did was curl my hair and set my face because I'm basically done with my makeup anyway. I straightened my hair and just put on one eyelash. Just to finish it up, I'm just going to take Too Faced Your Love Is King Blush and just pop that on the apples of my cheeks real quick. I'm just going to double check And then to highlight, I'm going to take my Morphe 501 brush and my favorite highlighter of all times, Laura Mercier Baked Radiance Powder thing in Highlight 01 and just pop that on. And then for my lips, I'm going to take the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 14, um, I think it's San Francisco. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. These are the looks we came up with. I did a cranberry smoky eye. Ashley did more simple on the eyes, but then went bolder with the lips. I have no clue what I'm going to call this look, if I am going to call it something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week, we'll have a new video. Bye.